everybody. Welcome, welcome to Whispers and Ink. I am a Jennifer Merle Hampshire, which I know that you know already. But just in case, um, I'm not only here to inspire you, but I am also here to give you permission to try something new, you guys. And why? Because I know that you can do it. I do. I know because I once was where you are. And I know you guys are not going to believe me, but I really was once where you are, you guys. I thought I was not crafty. I had no idea what the heck I was doing. <laughs> you guys, seriously, I know that you can do it. I really, honestly, truly do. And you guys, you know what I was thinking the other day? I'm thinking that maybe it would be fun, and I'll have to look to see what I can find, to show you some of my very first cards that I made. I actually kept several of them. Some were pretty decent, some not so much. <laughs> but you guys, it'll show you how far I've come in regards to my skills and my talent. I guess that that's pretty safe to say, right? My talent. Um, but here's the other thing. Let's keep it real, right? You guys, I had no idea. So that's why I'm thinking that might be kind of fun. Kind of scary, but kind of fun too. All right, so I have a little how-to for you guys first because, my, oh, hey, Susan. Good evening. And now in typical Wednesday night class fashion, what was for dinner? You guys, I had chicken pot pie with some salad. So, yeah, big dinner for me. Um, went shopping today. Did a bunch of running around. Joe goes back to work tomorrow. All right, but here's what, you guys, my bubble bath. She's looking, she's looking tired. So I know that every once in a while it's kind of fun to see um, or get reminders or for those that don't know how to fill their ink pads. And there's something on here that, probably paper, but, all right, so it's no secret, you guys, when I'm doing my watercoloring or my Wink of Stella, I put my ink in my well, but that's not why this does this. This four bubble bath has gotten a workout, and you can see this is a brand new ink refill. Hey Tammy, brand new ink refill. Okay, so see how quick that's soaking in, you guys? And then in some spots, not so much. So what I'm doing is I'm putting my ink in here, just like this, and then I have just your plain old run-of-the-mill you could use a metal spoon, a plastic spoon, it doesn't matter, but not that we're going to need a lot of that because holy cow, this thing is just soaking up this ink. And I try to make sure that I mix it all around, go back and forth in both directions, and I'm just, you guys, there's a little bit of ink on there that you can see, but all that I'm doing is just gliding the ink around so that it gets all over. And then, this is a water-based ink, you guys. Rinse it in the sink. I think I'm gonna do, actually, I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna refrain because I need to use this ink. And we're gonna wait and use it second. So this is the only waste, it's just that little bit. And you guys, it's not even really waste. It's just how it is. Now, 
when I ink, when I fill my ink pads, you guys, I close my top and I let it sit this way. Normally we don't store this way, right? But I want that ink to soak into the pad so that it's not gonna make my stamp when I go to stamp it all schmegly. All right, and yes, that's a technical term. All right, I need to, I need to put my, hang on you guys, I gotta, I gotta put this spoon somewhere so it doesn't get full of yuck. All right, so bubble bath ink, refill, check. So here are the two cards in case you weren't here in person for mystery card night, or mystery card night, yeah, <laughs> mystery card night, that's Friday. Um, in case you weren't here for girls' night, we did a kid's birthday card and more of a feminine, maybe teenager birthday card. I love this zany zoo. That's what that DSP is from. And then here is, well, this is kind of a fun fold, but kind of not. A little bit of a different take. Oh, I want, I need to, I didn't grab those embellishments, you guys. So I got to grab those and I got to grab that twine. And I want one other thing that I need to grab. So, what have you done today? Anything exciting? Not I. It's, you know, grocery store and all of those kinds of things. All those fun, being responsible adult things. That's always really exciting, right? Okay. So, fun fold class, you guys, which will be this. It'll be in two weeks. Fun fold class, we use these little... Um, lemon lolly embellishments as lemons perfect lemons this time for girls night we used the little pinks for our heart centers now I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with all those blue ones the I'm not worried about using the pecan pie that's an easy one for me it's gonna be those blue ones and see you guys don't forget if you're looking at embellishments and you're like wait a minute they said that there was four colors you can barely see them, right? Always lift the lid. And I know, I know that sounds silly to say that, but you guys, I'm looking at embellishments sometimes and I'm like, I thought that that had more colors. You gotta lift the lid. Hey, Penny. So don't worry, they're all in there. Just gotta lift the lid, okay. So we're going to do this one first. And the way that I did this, you guys, my packet here, hang on. I'm going to pull out my pieces here. The way that I did this is I did the cupcakes and stuff on one and for one of the cards and then the other card because I wanted to give you guys some different options. This one is the adventure one so like camping and hiking and taking pictures and all that so that's what so you got two different dsp pieces in here so do not fret they are different and that was intentionally oh dang it i don't think i have my i don't all right lots going on so do you guys have your air conditioning on that's the other thing. I don't. We turned the air conditioning off today. Kind of wishing that we didn't. And I could have done something about it, but nah. I'd much rather listen to the birds. How about you guys? All right, so let's work on this. So we need our Lost Lagoon and our Memento Black. And remember, these, because they don't flip over, I always store these upside down. And then we're gonna glue this on. Oh, you guys, I was working on my random act of kindness for my team swap today. 
I'm so excited. I made a whole bunch. We only need to make 12 for our team swap because not everybody participates. But um, I made 25 so that I had some extras. Because why not? And then this goes this way. We're going to burnish this with our bone folder. And that'll go on here. And I did glue it. I did glue this, but I think I'm going to... Nah. Should we glue it or should we dimensional it? This is what this looks like. I glued this one. Probably much easier to mail if I glue it, but I like to make things interesting. I don't mind a little extra postage, you guys. Seriously, I'm just happy if the mail person gets my stuff to their house at this point, which that's kind of a reality at this point, right, you guys? All right, so we need both of the happies. We need this happy for the front. We need this birthday for the inside. And then we need this happy for the inside. Have you? Did you guys get this yet? I don't know why you haven't. This is an amazing stamp set. Mm, love it. Okay, we got our happy for that. So this is our sample. We've got the little raccoon with the balloons, and we've got the koala bear with the with the cupcakes. And then this is our inside. Notice that apparently I was a, a slightly um, leaning towards the right on this day, but that's all right. We're gonna stamp our inside first. Let's see if I can get this one straight today. Oh, I know, right, Anita? Oh, I'm glad I'm not the only one. I love this stamp set. Apparently, I'm still leaning a little bit higher on the right. Lost Lagoon is done. Here's our black. Oh, I lean in. This one is one of my favorite go-to birthdays along with the artistically inked. I really, really like the happy birthday on the artistically inked. And I think a member of my team who was late bringing in her swaps for last month, she said that she used the artistically inked for a birthday card. I'm kind of excited to see what that looks like. Kind of excited. Because last month's theme, theme was uh, Christmas in June and prep for Christmas in July. Mm. Apparently I didn't get my top of my H done very well. Good thing there's two sides to every piece of paper. There we go. That one's better. Put our lid on. Ooh, sorry you guys, that wasn't good. And then we'll take our twine. And we're going to, I wrapped um, this one around three times. I like the bulkiness that the triple wrap brings. And you guys, it's only like, I don't know, what size is that? It's only a one and a half inch piece, you guys. So to triple, to triple wrap it, it's not a big deal. And then if you do a bow on this, um, the bow... Um, is not as, um, fluffy. See, right, Penny? Oh, I know. I love this stamp set. Love it. Okay, so there's our happy. 
little more tails on the second one, you guys, because, you know, why not? And then now it's just assembly. So, you guys, are we dimensionaling this piece or are we just going to glue it? That's what I, I need to know. I need to know. So, when you get girls' night, you guys, a couple of things. I actually need to go back and tally um, a couple. When you do girls' night, it is our birthday club, you guys. What does that mean? That means after six orders, because this is free with a qualifying order, when you do an order six times, Susan W. says dimensionals. Thank you, Susan. Um, after your sixth order in a row, um, that means that you get a $15 credit on me. So that's a bonus. Plus you get all these amazing ideas. Ribbon scissors. Let's not use those for... For cutting adhesives, that would not be good. See, the craft room's comfortable because the sun's on the back of the house. In the morning, the sun's on this side of the house. In the afternoon, the sun is on the back side of the house. And I think that's why, you know, you're having dinner and you're getting warm and all of the things. So, it is what it is, right? I'm going to dimensional this. And then I'm going to put the other dimensional on the very end here. Because I want to lift up on the one side. I'm going to put this one down here so we can see the little... Uh, is that a possum? Aardvark? I have no idea. What do you guys think? Kind of looks like an opossum, but kind of not. And no, it doesn't have to be anything like specific, but. So we're going to get a little lift here because this is on dimensionals and this is on dimensionals, but this one's going to go low on this side. Hey, Christina Fisher! Hey, stranger. So here is the original version with the one DSP that you got. And here is the second version with the second DSP that you received. And how cute are those? So cute. And no, you guys, the blue embellishments do not match this. The blue embellishments are azure afternoon ones. And that is definitely Lost Lagoon. All right, so card one, done. All righty, so now we're moving on to card number two. And the slacker that I am, you guys, I forgot to die cut out my hearts, so we're going to have to do that. Oh, you could think opossum too, Susan? That's kind of what I was thinking. I think that the blue stripes in the tail totally, um, totally, thank you, Tammy, um, totally throw me off. All right, so we need, give it a whirl, hearts. Another one that I use the heck out of. We've got our piece of pretty peacock here. And we're going to do, there's only two hearts in the die cut set, you guys. So we're going to have to run it through one more time for that other little one. But that's no big deal. Don't pinch your fingers. There we go. So we've got one heart. There's our second heart. And then we have one more heart. Cut that off. I don't like putting die cuts in my scrap pieces, you guys. So like this section, if it was at the top, it gets caught up in all the other little scraps, right? 
so it's going to rip and then it's going to rip where you don't want it to rip so I just cut it off. Make sure to put those dies back on my magnet. Oh, I did find my magnets too, you guys. I was looking for my magnet strips the other day. I found them. They were back upstairs. Apparently, I did put them away. So, all right. So, imagine. Imagine that this was left on here like this. You're going to have other scraps that are going to get stuck on here, and then it's going to rip the paper, right? So I just cut it off and throw it away. Just saying. Having the die cut pieces on there drives me absolutely crazy. Okay, so we need one more white piece. And this one, we're using the circle sayings this time. And this is the one that is a bundle with that two and three eighths inch circle punch, you guys. <gasps> So glad they brought circle punches back. I'm so glad. I miss my circle punches. And then we need the smile. There it is. Just didn't pull back far enough. There we go. Grab some stamps. go and then the smile is for our front all right so we are and I don't know if you can see it but there's a fold over here so see how the card is pulled back and I wanted to make two tweaks this time number one because, of course, you know, I'm watching the girls on Girls Night make cards, and I'm like, oh, why did I put, didn't I put ribbon on that? So I brought in the bubble bath ribbon. And actually, if I do just a knot, that'll be just enough. Mm. Oh, shoot. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Guys, it got stuck in the tape. There we go. Got stuck in the thread, got stuck in the tape. Darn it. All right, we should still have enough. We'll see. So I wanna do some ribbon. And then, not only I like the smile here, but I'm thinking that we should put the smile here too. Do you think it'll fit? Oh, wrong one. Oh, yes, yay! All right, but let's figure out how that fold goes. That's the important part. Okay, so here's our front. I'm going to take my handy dandy ruler and I'm going to take a pencil. Hopefully it has lead in it. And what did I do? Two and a half, I think, is what I said it was. Yep, two and a half. So I'm going to Put my ruler up on the top here, and I'm gonna go down to two and a half, and I'm gonna put a little tick mark. Can you guys see it? Bum, bum, bum. There it is. And then at two and a half, I'm gonna go this end, and I'm gonna put another little tick mark at the zero point here. And here's where it gets exciting. But only if you don't know what the phrase is. Who knows what the phrase is? I bet you know. This one is what? What's the phrase that saves your paper? Who doesn't know the phrase? Who doesn't know? Raise your hand if you're not sure what I'm talking about. So I lined my little tick marks up in my track and I used 
my scoring blade, which is the lighter one, because, 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 do you guys know what the phrase is? I bet you guys know. Somebody's got to know. Susan's been around long enough to know. So is Christina Fisher. You guys have been around long enough to know what the phrase is. Dark is what? Dark is what? Oh, you guys. Here's something else I need to show you. Come here, Wayne. Dark is death. Exactly, Susan. Yes, yes indeed. Oh, you guys, you got to see something. Come here, Wayne. Come here. You want to come craft with Mommy? Yes, Anita knows too, you guys. Look who got collars. All three of the kittens got their collars today. Sporting their new jewelry. And I love it. All right, so to get that smile... On the underside, I'm going to just do a little mark right there. And I'm going to take my Pretty Peacock ink. I know I got distracted, you guys, because I heard the little jingle bell and I couldn't help myself. They're getting so big. And we're going to put the smile right here, just like that. And then we're going to take our little handy-dandy purple eraser because, you know, purple's the best color ever. Just saying. And there's that stamping. And then we have, let's see. We have our happy birthday, I think. The happy birthday part is in. That's going to go down a little bit. Like, not quite the middle, just up a little bit. There's our happy birthday. And here's where the truth comes in. We just filled this ink. We're going to ink up our cupcake, and we're going to see where we go. So this one was just last weekend, you guys, and I can tell you I knew it was, I knew it was needed ink. I was waiting for the ink to get here. <sighs> going to let that sit and marinate a minute. Oh, yeah much better. It's a little bit more brilliant. Can you guys see the difference? This one, the new one is just a little bit brighter. Not that the this bubble bath ink is like super bright anyways, which is okay with me. But so what do you guys think about this pairing of the pretty peacock with the bubble bath? What do you guys think about that? So I took the color, the bubble bath color from this little, because there's in the designer series paper, there is one, and then this one, there is one bubble bath heart there. What do you guys think about Pretty Peacock and Bubble Bath together? Wayne, no ladybugs for you, bud. There's that. And then we've got our bubble bath ribbon, which I want underneath my heart here. And they were, all the hearts were in different spots, you guys. And I just want to do a knot. 
that's all. So we're just going to do a regular old knot. Because I know my nieces like ribbon. They're very much like their auntie. They love ribbon. Which is a good thing. Jury's still out on the pink, apparently. Do a little trimmy trim here. What are you doing, bud? Oh, I like the addition of the ribbon, you guys. All right, so assembly, because we got all our parts now. We're all stamped up. We have all our pieces. We're going to put our inside in first. I know not everybody's a pink person, but you guys, I thought that it looked really pretty and fun. It kind of brightened up the pretty peacock a little bit. Okay, so here's our inside. And you're not going to be able to see it. That's why I went down a little bit. Down a little bit. And then, because I know where the eraser mark is, I'm going to glue that on. I'm going to glue that. And I want the points of this square. I want the points right at the edges there. Just like that. There. And then this, I'm thinking we could glue this. I went a little crazy with the glue. I did put a piece of glue or a strip of glue on the actual ribbon itself. And I'm going to tuck this. Actually, I'm going to tuck that over so that I can line this up. Like that. Put that on. And then, I have this little dimensional here. We're going to stick that on there. Maybe. There we go. Because I want that flap to stay down so that it'll stay up like that. And then, we're going to do our, oh my gosh, you guys, can you hear that red? That's my little happy Jenny Wren outside. I don't know if you can hear her, but she is so happy out there. You guys, she wakes me up in the morning, and she always makes me happy. That's why I like the windows open. That is why. Okay, so we got our... Dimensionals on here. You don't have to use dimensionals, you guys. But to me, dimensionals are, they make me happy. I'll do this one just a little bit different than that one. Now, see, you could bypass the embellishments if you wanted. And you could do Wink Estella on those if you wanted. I think we're going to do the embellishments, though, because I really do like these embellishments. These embellishments are called the opaque ovals, you guys. And they really are the perfect, the perfect lemons. Oh, those could be walnuts, you guys. <gasps> oh, and oh my gosh, you guys, I just figured out what we're going to do with that. Oh my goodness. You guys have figured it out. I think you're going to have to wait to find out though. And I'm just randomly putting our little uh, 
pink gems in here. But what else could these be, you guys? What do those blue things look like to you? I like the walnut idea. That's fun. But what could those be? I know that I have blue of those. Just saying. What do you guys think? What could those be? What could they be? That's it, you guys. We're done. All done. So here's the original version. Not a lot of changes this time, you guys. Exactly, Susan. Hey, Sherry. Exactly, Susan. Eggs. Those could be blue eggs, and we could use those with the Hey Chuck stamp set. I think that would be totally hilarious. Here's the original version. Here is the online version. Not much of a change. Kind of sweep the eggs. Raindrops. That's true, Anita. They could totally be raindrops. I like that idea, too. Just kind of swept the hearts in a different direction and added our ribbon. And then this one, we didn't change at all. I like this one as it is. Here's our little kids card. This is the original version. And here is the online version. You guys got a favorite? Pretty Peacock or Lost Lagoon? Which is your favorite? Anita, I like raindrops. Raindrops are a good one, too. So which is your favorite? But, you guys, how do you get your own Girls' Night cards? Here's how you do it. You can... Um... $15 gets you the kit, or if you place a $25 purchase with me and you send me an email, you get the current Girls Night cards as an option. Um, but you guys, thank you, you guys, so much for joining me today. Um, it's super easy to get your Girls Night cards, you guys. The shipping is not very expensive either. Um, I try to make it very cost effective. I put it in a big envelope, not a big envelope, but an envelope that can hold all four of your cards because you get the parts and pieces for all four cards, you guys, plus the envelopes and the embellishments as the original version, you guys. If anybody has any questions about how to get Girls Night cards, comment and make sure, or you can email me here, or... If you know you want Girls Night cards, that's the current host code right there. You can lickety split, put in an order, and I'm more than happy to help you. You guys, thank you so much for joining me. Oh, thank you, Vicki. I've had it for quite a many years, and you guys, the salt sweat on there. Very sexy, right? <laughs> Uh, it's, it's, I like it because it has the Velcro in the back so that I can tighten it when I have my hair up or when I have my hair down. Oh, what are you commenting on? Sherry wants Girls' Night cards. Is that what you're commenting on, Sherry? All righty. Call me later, Sherry, and I can hook you up for these cute Girls' Night cards. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I hope that you have an amazing day getting crafty, you guys. And, you guys, do you know what's happening? Oh, I don't, didn't bring it over with me. Do you know what's happening on Friday? Do you know what's happening on Friday? Ooh, it's dirty. Dirty, dirty. It's a big mystery to me. Have a great night, guys.